Hello, hello, this is Sebastian Moyapasa from Tucson, Arizona, United States. And in this time, we are going to talk about um, the oxidized zone in the porphyry copper systems. And because in the previous video, we uh, made it about how to recognize the leach cap in the porphyry copper systems. If you didn't see it, go and see it and then you can watch this this one so and uh, uh, in order to uh, to understand what what we are trying to do here I brought a piece of uh, copper that we can buy in this, uh, any store right that we can use in our homes this is the copper that has been processed okay that's what we bought it and uh, in any porphyry copper system, there is two types of process that um, the origin of the copper in the systems uh, develops. The first one is the hypogene uh, process or the primary mineralization process. And the second one is the um, supergene process or the enrichment process of uh, the um, copper and finally get in this uh, cup uh, enrichment cup zone yeah and uh, so in the primary mineralization that something uh, we are gonna see it's uh, for example this sample this is everything you see yellow bright is calcopyrite so copper copper iron uh, sulfide Yes, so that's uh, how it has been the primary uh, copper, and uh, this is how it became later, so we can get it. And second mineral that uh, it's a primary also, if uh, I hope we can see it in here. If you, we see it, something blue, it, it, it isn't blue, it, that's bornite, and the, uh, and bright yellow, it's uh, calcopyrite, and light yellow, it's pyrite. So all those are primary mineralization. And then the next one that we saw in the perfect copper system, of course, pyrite. This is pyrite. That's how it looks, pyrite. You know, sometimes massive, uh, maybe one, two percent in some places. And from the primary mineralization, let's take a look how we see it in the surface. So in, in, in close to the surface, uh, the crust, we are going to see rocks that are already oxidized, like this one. This was a vein, you know. At some point, probably it was like this, right? It was a vein, but not anymore. So something happened in, in this case is this vein, probably was pyrite, um, calcopyrite, then became calcocyte. After it became calcocyte, it started uh, to make hematite. Everything now is hematite, iron oxides, right? And we don't have any uh, copper or iron sulfides. So everything has been leached out. And, uh, of course, if we put a uh, sulfuric acid in here, we plate it, and with a nail, we can plate the copper. So, it's possible, right? So, the, let's uh, take a look at the, the next uh, hand sample. And I have uh, this uh, hand sample here. Yeah, Ev everything uh, you know, oxidized. In some places, we can see this blue. That is there azurite copper uh, sulfide right it's a you know between the class to make the matrix azurite and uh, this is what we, we are going to call uh, copper oxide even it's a sulfide right uh, sulfide and uh, the next mineral I have uh, over here is this one, I got it. Uh, I was looking for the scratcher. So, see this mineral? The blue also. But the conchoidal fracture is a copper silicate. 
so it's a hard seven. You can break it, but you know, it's, a, it's not going to scratch. So, uh, and uh, this is copper silicate, but it's considered also copper oxides for the minimization. And uh, next, uh, next hand sample, I did this one. You know, it has been big rocks that has been broke, and in the spaces between the rocks, it feel all this asteroid, you know, and botryoidal shapes in some cases, and uh, more in this side, beautiful blue, and iron oxide. There's no uh, sulfite in here, and uh, yeah, uh, another sample in here. That's right, all, all this blue, botryoidal shapes, maybe uh, some malachite in there too. Usually they're mixed, you know, malachite, uh, uh, chrysocolla, um, brachytide, and uh, next one. Yeah, oh, this is a, you know, some, some chrysocolla in here, and all this is brachytide. Iron oxides and some brochantite in some places too. Yeah, brochantite also um, copper uh, sulfide. And I know another one. Some uh, chrysocolla and brochantite. Another sample in here, uh, azurite, you know, the, the fractures, and all the rest here, we don't see any any sulfites. There's no copper sulfide, there's no primary mineralization in here. Mm -hmm. Azurite and the fractures, very nice. Another one in here. Yeah, this is a open space, but it has been broken, you know. And inside is all this feelings of uh, azurite. Very nice samples. And another one. In. Another small piece in here. Yeah, all this, this space is filled with uh, azurite. Okay, and something uh, very important um, in this oxidized zone of the copper, perfect copper system, it's um, they have two types of minerals. Uh, let's say, so one of the types that we saw all this uh, uh, copper uh, uh, sulfates uh, are leachable on sulfuric acid. So that's easy to recover. They blast and they recover. But the other group in the same zone is a non leachable um, copper minerals. And I'll put only two, but there are more. One is native copper. Native copper uh, uh, is leachable maybe uh, 5%. So if you have 1% of native copper, you want to recover only 0.5%. 5%, you know, you're now point, point half percent, you know, it's not going to be much, right? And, um, and uh, uh, the other one, uh, it's uh, this um, copper mineral we call, uh, call turquoise. Turquoise, it's an oxidized zone mineral, but it's very difficult to, to leach, maybe 5% again. And so you can have uh, this or, or, or type uh, in the oxidized zone, but uh, the recovery is going to be very low. And if you send it, you know, 1%, 2%, and the recovery is too low, it's, hey, what happened? So something happens to have to recognize this area that's a, a very low um, uh, percentage of recovery and leaching process. So everybody will know, oh, yeah, yeah. That's why, you know, we have high grades, but we don't have uh, much uh, recovery, right? And um, thank you very much. I, I hope you enjoy it, you like it, and uh, something new for you. And uh, um, 
So subscribe yourself and touch the bell so you have our next videos. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good one. Bye-bye.